both the current rule, current law, also called junction rule, and the voltage law, also called loop rule. Uh, but before then, let's understand what loop and mesh is. Take that place. Definition, loop. Let's find loop. Is. Loop. A loop is any closed path. A loop is any closed path going through circuit elements. A path through a circuit that starts and ends at the same place, full stop. Let's look at mesh. Look at mesh, please. A mesh is a path through a circuit that starts and ends at the same place and does not enclose any other loop and does not enclose any other loop it is a subset of a loop it is a subset of a loop so look at this Look up. Let me explain that. Look up. Let's pick out loops and meshes from this diagram. A mesh, a path that starts and ends at the same place. So look up it. If I'm to pick up loops here, look up it. If I'm to pick up loops here, how many loops do I have here? Um, look at this. Look up. See your first loop. Let's start from here. This point goes from A to B. From B to C, from C to D, from D to E, from E to F, from F to A. That becomes a loop. So I have A, B, C, D, E, F, A. This one here is a loop. That's a loop. Also, I can start from this one again and still go A, B, E, F, A. So I can still go A, B, E, F, A. Still another loop. Okay? What else? Um, depending. I can start here and go from here, from this junction here, from this point. B, C, D, E, B. That's a loop. B, C. So, uh, B, C, D, E, B. Also, another loop. So, look at this. What's a mesh? A mesh is a loop that does not have another loop in it. That's it. So, a mesh is a loop that does not have another loop inside it. It's called the subset of a loop. What are the meshes here? Look at it. If I look, look at it. If I look at this loop, this loop, look at it. So here's a mesh. Listen on. If I look at this loop, beside this point here, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, it's called a loop. But within this big one, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, I can still find other smaller loops, such as A, B, E, F, A. So within the A, B, C, D, E, F, A, I can still find a smaller loop called A, B, E, F, A. Now observe something. This bigger loop contains two other smaller loops. Yeah? A, B, C, D, E, F, A contains A, B, E, F, A and B, C, D, E, B. Right, so this one here, A, B, E, F, A, this one here, that contains no other loop between this one or there, a mesh. So why this one is a loop? It's also a mesh. That's it. Also, this one here, B, B contains B, C, D, A, B. Within this one here, there is no mesh, there is no other loop between it. So it's also what there, a mesh. 
So a loop is a mesh we said is a loop that contains no other loop within it. If I consider this one again, the biggest one there, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, is a loop. But then again, within this loop, what I have, I have other one there, I still have other loops there. So what happens there now is not a mesh. That's it. That's it. So within this other bigger loop here, I still have smaller loops. So we don't call it a mesh. So that's just, that's, just, that's just it. So loop and mesh are almost the same thing. The difference is that in a mesh, there is no other loop within it. Within it. While in a loop, there are smaller loops within it. That's the idea. That's because of loops and meshes. Alright, let's solve this question.